So YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ingraven Raven here with another video. And before we get into things, I hope y'all are doing really, really good. I hope your day is going really, really good. I hope any curveballs that might have came your way, you knocked them out the park. So shout out to all of y'all. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because we bring you videos every single day. I don't want y'all to miss nothing. But anyway, I, I love y'all. Now, somebody who a lot of Ravens fans have come to love really over the past month uh, is cornerback, former free agent cornerback, Rock Yassin. Uh, because the Ravens, a while back, they had him in on a visit. And a lot of Ravens fans were like, hmm. Huh, mm, mm, ah, mm, mm. But since then, they've talked themselves into really loving the move, if it was to happen. Especially over the, this, this last week and change, a lot of Ravens fans have been like, hey, all right, we should bring in Rock Yassin. So... When this news was announced today that the Ravens are signing cornerback Rock Yassin to a one-year deal worth up to $6 million. Not a one-year $6 million. Well, it is technically a one-year $6 million, $6 million deal, but it's worth up to $6 million. I'm sure the guarantees will come out maybe by the time uh, this video is over. So we'll see. If I had to take a guess, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess three mil guaranteed. I, 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 I'm giving the Ravens a nice little chunk of change that I think they're going to guarantee this one for. Because we would anticipate this being the Ravens' other starting cornerback opposite Marlon Humphrey. Uh, he obviously has plenty of starting experience in this league. Uh, he's played for the Colts. He's played for the Raiders. Uh, am I missing anybody? I'm not sure. But Rock Yassin is somebody that can play both outside and inside. So he brings you versatility. And, you know, like especially with the Ravens, the more you can do, they love it. And that, that's a good thing. The more you can do, the more flexible you are. Uh, just in case you need to fill in for somebody, you can do that. But, again, I wouldn't anticipate him being a fill-in. I anticipate him being the starter. Um, a lot of things has led us to, to this point, to where the Ravens are signing uh, Rock Yassin. Um, one of those things was them not bringing back Marcus Peters, at, at least so far. We have not heard any word on Marcus Peters at all, like nothing. And we've been wondering, a lot of us have been wondering, like, okay, well, what's going down with him? Is he going to return? Is he going to be coming back? Do the Ravens want him back? Does he want to be back? Like, what's up with it? What's, what's, what's going on? We ain't heard nothing, not a word. And now they bring in Rock Yassin. So one has to wonder, is that a wrap? Is it finished? Are they done? So I guess we'll see in these coming weeks. And Marcus Peters, we haven't heard about him being in on any visits with anybody. We haven't heard him be in contact with anybody at all thus far. So I don't know, man. We'll see. Now, something else that let us know uh, that the Ravens were headed in this direction, the draft. A lot of people, expect, especially in the first round, expected, all right, Ravens in the draft. Early on, they are going to take a corner. They're going to take a corner. Well, not early at least. Of course, they got Caillou, but that wasn't until later on. But and when that, that first pick was announced and it was Zay Flowers, you know, I wasn't mad at all um, with them going receiver. You know, I, I mean, I was, it was a bittersweet thing because I was like, all right, well, DeAndre Hopkins. But when they announced receiver, I was like, oh, well, DeAndre, the DeAndre Hopkins thing, is, is that's done now, huh? But anyway, um, it wasn't a corner. And with it not being a corner, then it was like, oh, okay. As the draft goes on, if you draft a corner in the first or second, you could expect, oh, okay, they may be a starter. And I mean, I know sometimes stuff happens when corners get picked later and they still end up starting, like Tariq Woolen with the uh, with the Seahawks. But I just uh, it, we didn't anticipate that happening with the Ravens. Um, so they waited, 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 and then they waited until the comp pick formula was done. They waited until this signing would not go against the compensatory pick formula. Um, and now it doesn't count, so they signed Rock Yassin. And they got their guy. Now, uh, for me, I know uh, I talked to a, a couple people about this, uh, and they would all ask the question. Everybody's asking the question, oh, who would you rather have the Ravens bring in? Marcus Peters, Rocky Scene, um, and they named some other people too. But my answer was Marcus Peters. But what I would have loved for the Ravens to do is bring, bring in both. Bring back Marcus Peters and bring in Rocky Scene. The reason I say that is because with Marcus Peters, last year was obviously a down year for him. He did have some great moments, um, but it was a down year for him. 
Uh, it was the first year back, though. So maybe that was it. Or maybe he's just getting a little bit older and just things are working differently now. But I, I feel like we don't know that yet. We don't know what it is yet. But it could take another year, like this year, to see, all right, well, so with Marcus Peters, is he sort of on a downward trend? Or was it just was he just having an off year last year? Which one was it? Um, but the reason I said that I would bring in, I would want the Ravens to bring in both, was to rather be safe than sorry. So just in case Marcus Peters may have been on a downward trend, hopefully not. Uh, we'll see for whatever team he ends up on, whether that's the Ravens or not. Uh, but I say bring in both so you would have a nice insurance policy just in case. And Rocky has seen, again, with him being able to play both outside and inside corner, he would have been ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And if they put him at slot corner, then that allows you more flexibility with Kyle Hamilton because, you know, he was there a lot last year. Um, but it just – you got more options. So – but now he's a, he's a member of the Ravens, so cool, man. So welcome to the squad, Rock Yassin. Um, that's secondary. Secondary is going to be interesting this year, as it is every year. Uh, the Ravens right now, as far as cornerbacks, they have Marlon Humphrey, Rock Yassin. You expect them to be the uh, sort of the, the one and two cornerbacks, the two starting cornerbacks, the two outside starting cornerbacks. Um, they also have Pepe Williams. Um, they have Jalen Armour Davis. They have... Uh, Brandon Stevens, Brandon Stevens, who they are really, really high on. They love Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens, he's shown flashes. Um, he, he definitely shown some flashes. He has some highs. He has some lows too, and everything in between. Uh, they also have Trayvon Mullen. They have him. Uh, they also have the name is slipping right now. They have oh man, the one who. Kept getting cut and re-signed, cut, re-signed. Daryl Worley. And they also just recently re-signed Kevon Seymour as well, so they're bringing him back. So not everybody's going to make the team, as we know, but they're still practice squad. And then, of course, there's still other opportunities uh, throughout the league. So, yeah, there we have it. I know there were some people talking about, well, maybe they could trade Patrick Queen for a corner. So one thing that I like about this move, too, another thing that I like about this move is that it – Kind of like, it kind of like makes it like Patrick Queen could stay. Because they didn't trade him for anything. They didn't trade him for a wide receiver. Didn't trade him for a corner. Didn't trade him for anything. So, it's still a chance. And again, for me, y'all know, again, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. So, anyway, I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. Um, I appreciate all of y'all. Again, thank you for everything that you all do. Thank you for consistently supporting the channel like crazy. And we out. Y'all stay up, man.